Hello, and welcome to NC Library's tutorial on popular versus scholarly periodicals. So, your instructor has given you an assignment. And she wants you to find one article that is from a popular periodical and one article that is from a scholarly periodical. You've found some articles in your library's online catalog, but you can't tell which articles are scholarly and which articles are popular. You're starting to get frustrated. Don't worry. This tutorial will help you to understand the differences between scholarly and popular periodicals. It will also help you to differentiate between the two when doing research online. This should save you time and frustration when doing research, which in turn will give you more time and energy to work on other aspects of your assignment. So, what is a periodical, you ask? According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, a periodical is a journal or other publication whose issues appear at fixed or regular intervals. Examples of periodicals include newspapers, which are often published daily, magazines, which are often published on a weekly or monthly basis, and academic journals, which are published at fixed times throughout the year as determined by the journal's publishers. Newspapers contain articles written by journalists about news and other current events. Newspaper articles are reviewed by a newspaper editor before they are published. The intended readership for a particular newspaper is usually the general public. Magazines, on the other hand, are usually published for a specific readership or for a readership with specific interests. Magazines contain articles written by journalists or freelance writers, which somehow relate to the overarching theme of the magazine or magazine issue. Magazine articles are also reviewed by an editor. Academic journals, however, are each related to a specific field of academic study. Academic journals contain articles written by scholars in their field which report on original research. Articles written in academic journals often undergo a peer review process. This means that they are reviewed by other scholars rather than by editors before they are published. This process helps to ensure that all of the research printed within a particular journal is accurate. But what are popular and scholarly periodicals and how are they different from one another? According to Encyclopedia Britannica, the adjective scholarly refers to something that is characteristic of or suitable to learned persons, whereas the adjective popular refers to something that is suitable to the majority, generally current, and commonly liked or approved. Magazines and newspapers are considered to be popular periodicals, while academic journals are considered to be scholarly ones. Popular periodicals are written using language that is accessible to the majority of their readers. They contain articles on current events and or trendy topics. More importantly, however, both newspapers and magazines rely on selling advertisement space in their publications in order to offset the cost of production. This means that popular publications need to appeal to a large readership so that they can remain attractive to advertisers. Scholarly periodicals, on the other hand, contain articles that are written by scholars for other scholars, researchers, and or students to read. The language in these articles can sometimes be complex and may require insider knowledge in order to understand. Academic journals do not rely on advertising dollars in order to supplement their production costs. 
As a result, the contents of academic journal articles do not need to appeal to the general public. This helps to ensure that the research found within these articles is free from commercial and or popular biases. Knowing the difference between popular and scholarly periodicals doesn't necessarily make it any easier for you to distinguish between the two when first sitting down to do your research. If you are using the library's online catalog to do your research, you can select the scholarly and peer review filter from the refine your search menu on the left hand side of your screen. If you are doing your research using an internet search engine though, it gets a bit harder to tell if the articles that you find are from scholarly periodicals or if they are from popular ones. As a result, we have compiled a list of things to look for when reading an article in order to help you tell if the article that you are reading is popular or if it is scholarly. When trying to distinguish between scholarly and popular articles, you want to take a closer look at the author of the article, the length of the article, the language used within the article, the content of the article, and finally, the title of the periodical that the article is published in. For example, popular articles are usually written by journalists or freelance writers who aren't necessarily experts in the fields that they are writing about. Unlike scholarly articles, popular articles tend to be short. If an article that you are reading is just a few paragraphs long, then it's probably a popular article. The language found within popular articles is often much easier to understand than the language found within scholarly articles. If an article contains less formal language, such as slang, then it's probably a popular article. Popular articles, unlike scholarly articles, tend to include advertisements, as well as glossy photographs or illustrations. If you see a lot of advertisements or extraneous photographs in an article that you are reading, it's probably a popular article. Finally, if you are reading an article from a publication whose title you recognize from newsstands or grocery store checkout lines, then the article you are reading is most definitely from a popular magazine and not from an academic journal. On the flip side, if the author or authors of a particular article that you are reading lists their degrees, titles, credentials, or institutional affiliations alongside their names, then the article that you are reading is most likely a scholarly article. Scholarly articles also tend to be longer than popular ones. If the article you are reading is more than four to five pages long, it is probably, but not always, a scholarly article. The language found within scholarly articles is usually subject specific and can be difficult for non-subject specialists to understand. In this instance, the authors of the article use the proper scientific name for marijuana rather than more familiar colloquialisms. Furthermore, articles from scholarly periodicals usually begin with an abstract or an outline of the article's contents and end with a list of references. Unlike popular articles, scholarly articles usually do not contain photographs or ads. Finally, articles in scholarly periodicals are often found in publications with one or more of the following words in their titles, journal, research, review, or studies. To review, periodicals are publications whose issues appear at fixed intervals. Periodical publications include newspapers, magazines, and academic journals. Newspapers and magazines are popular publications, whereas academic journals are considered to be scholarly ones. You can tell if an article is popular or scholarly by examining the credentials of the article's author or authors, the length of the article, the language used within the article, the content of the article, and finally, the title of the publication that the article is printed in. If you have more questions about popular versus scholarly periodicals, or if you would like assistance in finding scholarly articles for your assignment, 
please contact your campus library. Visit our website at niagaracollege.ca forward slash library for full contact information.